Good evening and welcome family and friends to Frontier's 2022 commencement. And please, I want you to join me in congratulating the class of 2022. We are delighted to have everyone here this evening. Thank you to our students, our parents, our teachers, our health office, our counselors, our class advisors, Heather Lawton and Stacey Chapley, our custodians, our office staff, our assistant principal, Scott Dredge, our superintendent, Darius Modesto, and to our school committee and its president, Bob Halla. Thank you all for your continuous support. Graduates, you've had quite the four years of high school, and now you have reached the end. We hope you carry wonderful memories of Frontier and your friends and teachers with you as you move into your future. You will be receiving a lot of advice tonight. I just have one small piece, and that is this. Whatever you do, do it with good intention. Start from a good place with your words and actions, and you will find that the world can be a happy, caring place. It can be hard at times. Things can be difficult. But if you get upset, try to reset and approach the world with caring and calm. So congratulations once again. We wish you all the best moving forward, and we are so happy for you. Congratulations. I'd like to let everybody know how the diplomas are going to work. We're going to be awarding the diplomas alphabetically. So families, after your student receives their diploma, please take a moment for a photograph on this side of the stage. So please, once again, the students will be entering from stage left, and then families, please come up and take a picture of your graduate after they've received their diploma. With that being said, I would like to <clears throat> introduce Ian Spirins and Leonardo Franceschi. I'd like to invite them up to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Where's the flag? It's right here. <laughs> All right. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Please remain standing for our national anthem. Sorry. <laughs> So now I would like to introduce Blanche Redding. I would invite her up to the podium to introduce our Poet Laureate. Sure. 
Hi, everyone. Um, I'm speaking to you today to introduce our poet laureate here at Frontier, Sierra Rose Sheldon. I've known Sierra for six years. She first shared her poetry with us this past fall, impressing, impressing students and teachers alike and winning the Poetry Slam. Sierra has been a leader of the class, and I think that it is only fitting, being one of our most outspoken and passionate classmates, she shares her poetry with us today. It is my pleasure to introduce Frontier's Poet Laureate, Sierra Sheldon. Hi guys. Okay. To the Frontier Regional students, the class of 22, it's safe to say we've all been waiting to experience something new. Now on our last day together, I want to spread the word that each and every student here should know this is well deserved. These past four years have not always come easy, but have brought shape to who we are. Now it's our parents and families' turns to watch us from afar. Though our high school career plays part in who we become, we each have an individual journey where we will progress and overcome. Achieving all of the things we weren't entirely sure we could, we give thanks to our superiors that always said we would. This is our year, Frontier Regional, 2022, and although this was foreseeable, it's bittersweet to review. Throughout our high school years, the time has passed so fast. Most of us felt this day would never come, but here it is at last. Now that we are graduating, there's only one thing left to say. We are all so thankful to be here on this last and final day. Congratulations to my fellow students, Frontiers Class of 2022. Thank you, Sierra. And now I would like to invite up Sadie Ross, who will be introducing our class president. I stand here today with the great honor of introducing the president of the class of 2022, Joseph Thompson. I met Joe Thompson in the seventh grade when we were both 11 years old and, believe it or not, practically the same height. We were in a history class together. I didn't know a thing about him, but he heard me struggling to get the right reference and he helped me figure out which Greek myth I was trying to come up with. It was the story of Sisyphus, not Tantalus. I should have figured right then that he would be my partner in crime for years to come. Some of you may know Joe Thompson as the captain of the basketball team from his dedication and constant improvement on the court. I mean dedication. It is dedication to his teammates, to his own improvement, to the game, not just when everyone's watching, but especially when they aren't. You may know J Joe Thompson as one of this year's Fred directors. His humor, compassion, and patience made the greatest show at Frontier the greatest show at Frontier. You may know Joe Thompson as our class president, the man who you can find jumping up and down to greet his classmates, regardless of how well he knows them. Throughout his time at Frontier, he has done it all. He has put effort into academics, athletics, acting, directing, environmentalism, organizing, and the list goes on. But no matter what project he is tackling, he approaches it with enthusiasm, intensity, and care. I have witnessed a hundred times over Joe Thompson dropping everything to be there for someone else. That is just the person he is, a true friend to our class, day and night. I'm extremely lucky because I know Joe Thompson not only as a co-director, a go-to group project member, an environmental organizing partner, a fellow class officer, but as my best friend in this world. So before I get too emotional and redundant, the man, the myth, the legend, Joseph Thompson.
I guess this is my dissertation. Homie, this is basic. Welcome to graduation. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. What a six years. Thank you all for being here. As Randy Newman once said, you've got a friend in me. As Dr. Seuss once said, oh, the places you'll go. As Les Brown once said, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. As John Denver once said, take me home, country roads. Congratulations, thank you, and good night. I got you, I got you. Even though I've loved telling jokes to this group for the past six years, I'll take it down for the next four minutes. I don't think any of us should be walking off of this field without a sense of pride for what we have accomplished in graduating from high school. I mean, we've had to figure out ways to have far too many absences and still get Mr. Linnitus to sign our waiver and let us graduate. We had to have several class meetings to determine a class shirt design. We had to try not to sleep through six years of history classes. And we've all had to deal with the baseball team this year. Oh, uh, and we had to go through pains to come up with a senior prank to stroke Mr. Dredge's ego. But while we may have argued and occasionally complained about each other. At the end of the day, we were genuine, we would ultimately be there for each other, and we would always be willing to have fun with one another. Like when we pushed Sam's car out of the mud at 12.30 in the afternoon on Station Road. <laughs> or hoisting Peyton above the crowd at prom to the utter horror of our class advisors. <laughs> or the overwhelming participation and support for our student-run comedy show, Fred. We learn to laugh and get some mothers upset together as a class. Or when many of us chose to wear purple and walk out in support of human rights this May. And aside from how we've shown up for each other as a group, I personally can think of countless times where different peers have supported me. And I'm sure that's true for many of us because this is a special group of people. We learned how to be there for each other over our time here. We have all worked really hard to get here, balancing home life, extracurriculars, creating relationships, and completing challenging courses. In graduating from high school, we have all put ourselves in a great spot to succeed going forward. No matter if our plans for next year are to attend college, to enlist in the military, or to join the workforce. But as we look forward, we also need to look back. I remember our eighth grade trip to DC our dance party, our rainy tours of the National Monuments, our trip to the museum where everyone decided to take rooftop pictures. And while when thinking about that time, it's easy to see how far we have all come, I fondly recall the sense of community that we built on that trip, community that stayed with us and that we built on through high school. We all have the ability to uplift the people around us, which is something we can carry with us as we leave here today. Also in remembering our past times at Frontier, we need to recognize the people who have been essential to getting us to where we are. Among those people are the teachers and staff here at Frontier, who we all owe a great debt of gratitude. To all the teachers in the building, including the middle school, you make the learning environment and the warm feeling of the school what it is. Thank you. To the custodial and cafeteria staff here at Frontier, thank you. To all of our incredible, omnipotently patient parents, thank you. To Mr. Dredge, sorry about the cardboard cutouts. <laughs> I, I would say it won't happen again, but I don't know if I can guarantee that. Thank you. Finally, I think we all need to thank each other. We have been growing together for six years. Ian, can you pay attention, please? Our class has done it all. Almost every feast I see is an athlete. Many of us have participated in community service events or programs. There are so many truly gifted musicians and artists sitting here, 
And this year, a historic amount of seniors performed in our theater department in the form of our beloved student-run production, Fred. And obviously, we've all made it to graduation, so we're smart enough to get by. As my good friend Kevin Bauman says, we don't pick the ballroom, we just dance. And we may be standing at the finish line of one of our great struggles, struggles for accomplishment, but there's lots of game left. As my good friend Karen Bright likes to remind me, the job's never finished. We have our whole lives ahead of us, and this moment serves not just as a time to recognize our accomplishments, but to springboard us into our futures. So as we go out into the world to create our lives, let's remember, let's remember the community building we've learned here and realize the vastness of what we're capable of accomplishing. Let's dance. Thank you, Joe. I would now like to invite up uh, our National Honor Society representative, Isabella Marapizzi. All right, I'm going to keep this kind of short and sweet, but... Uh... Hi everyone, my name is Isabel Marapisi, and this year I was the president of National Honor Society. Throughout my time at Frontier, I've heard, get your community service hours in and make sure you sign up for National Honor Society senior year. This all seemed so far away when I heard it freshman year, but it has come and gone faster than I could have ever imagined. Community service this year looked a little different than it may in a typical year. We weren't just volunteering at food pantries or community meals, and although those are great, we were leading races, participating in Zoom service, and fitting little volunteering sessions into the hectic schedule that comes with being a senior at Frontier. My personal favorite thing about community service is the feeling of connection between us as students and members of National Honor Society and our community. Whether it be a seemingly minute task of handing runners water, or it be the larger accomplishment of donating to local organizations, the connection and satisfaction that community service leaves behind is truly unmatched. The required 15 hours of community service was so much more than a chore to complete before graduation. It was a privilege and exciting time to contribute more to our small community. This year, as an executive board, we chose to donate our fundraising efforts to Tapestry, a local public health nonprofit based in Springfield with a location in downtown Northampton. The cause of helping those who can't access or afford health care rights is something that both resonated and held importance in the agenda of our board. This was no accident. As our board of five young women all felt that the cause of women's health in particular was well too important to overlook. <laughs> it's been <s> <laughs> it's gonna been so special to lead and witness the impact that this group has had and the effort that each and every one of us has donated towards an overarching goal that stretches well beyond the walls of Frontier Regional. Bigger than National Honor Society, our class has grown exponentially throughout this year. Emerging from two pandemic-stricken years, we've been forced to adapt and make the best of any situation thrown our way. No one really knew where we'd end up. But despite sleeping through Zoom classes and eagerly waiting for mask breaks, we've surfaced as capable and compassionate individuals, ready to tackle any obstacles to come. The experiences we've shared have cultivated stronger friendships in the most unexpected of ways. From wearing togas in October to skip day in March, I'm sorry, Miss Russell, to our senior prank just a few days ago, we've come together in the best way possible. So
So thank you, Frontier Regional, for making the past six years memorable. We will forever hold you in our heart and minds. Thank you. Thank you, Isabel. I would now like to invite Maeve Hewitt up to the podium to introduce our commencement speaker. Y'all look so good. <laughs> All right. Hello, my name's Maeve. Earlier this year, our senior class officers gathered together, contemplating who we wanted to invite to speak at this year's graduation. A light bulb then appeared at the top of my head. Oh, the perfect candidate. He has been involved with Frontier, with the Frontier community since 2006, going from a PE teacher at Deerfield Elementary to the current principal at Sunderland Elementary. He has noted his passion for working with youth since a young age, as well as emphasizing the importance of staying physically active and ensuring strong relationships. This was exemplified through his work as the Frontier Boys varsity basketball coach, as well as other many coaching positions in our community. He has touched the hearts of many, making many lasting impacts on our graduating seniors. One memory I will always remember is in third grade gym class, he was explaining the rules to some game, and I go, hey, Mr. B, guess what? He says what? I said chicken butt. And then I ended up in timeout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting with him this past week where he revealed that he honors his family, a healthy balance in life, and he believes that consistent collective actions can help shape who we are and the impact we have on others. He appreciates the liveliness and feeling of community within the student body here at Frontier, which he has no doubt contributed to. We appreciate all that he has done for us and this community. It is my great honor to introduce our commencement speaker, Mr. Benjamin Barshevsky. Thank you. Thank you, Maeve. I would imagine that timeout that you mentioned was warranted. You always had a mischievous smile in elementary school, and I was probably saying something pretty important. Good evening guests, Frontier faculty and students, and friends and family members of our 2022 Frontier Regional High School graduating class. I would like to thank the class officers for extending this invitation to speak to, uh, for me to speak tonight at the graduation ceremony. This is truly an honor, one that I do not take lightly. I would also like to thank the Frontier administration for scheduling this graduation ceremony on an off night of the NBA Finals. <laughs> I was almost faced with making a pretty tough decision. Celtics and six, anyone else with me? <laughs> to be honest, I experienced a roller coaster of emotions upon learning that I was invited to be the guest speaker at tonight's ceremony. A letter arrived in my mailbox with a return address labeled Frontier Regional High School, Office of the Principal. My heart instantly started racing. As I'm sure many of you can relate to, principals can be very ex uh, extremely intimidating. After opening the envelope, I was delighted to learn that this invitation had been extended my way. That excitement soon turned to panic as I quickly thought to myself, oh no, now I need to speak in front of hundreds of people. I then requested a class roster of this senior class and my mind was quickly put at ease as I scanned over all of the familiar names. During my professional career in the Frontier Regional and Union 38 School District, I have been privileged with working in two elementary schools and coaching at the high school. It has been so rewarding to have known many of these graduates from the very beginning of their schooling experience. I have watched them grow and develop and it is an honor to be a part of tonight's celebration. So over the next 60 minutes, it is my hope that the message I share with the graduates will resonate with all of you. The 60 minutes is a joke, by the way. As I was preparing to write the speech for tonight's graduation, I thought about seeking advice from some of the most trusted individuals in my inner circle. 
that would be the kindergarten students of Sunderland Elementary School. However, they got the town of Sunderland into budget issues a few years back when they convinced me to place a bulk order of Slinky's Silly String and Propeller Hats. It did seem like a good purchase at the time, but in hindsight, we probably should not have made that impulse buy. So when I determined that I would avoid using the advice of the kindergartners this time around, I needed to seek help from someone even closer. So I went to my five-year-old daughter, Ava. When asked, she informed me that the two most important things in the world were, number one, to be caring to everyone. Not bad, I thought. She's off to a good start. Number two, to hold your breath when you pass a cemetery. <laughs> yes, clearly also good advice and a wonderful life lesson. I was tempted to end my speech right there, but I figured I needed to provide the graduates with some material that had more depth. In all seriousness, as I planned the message I wanted to share with you tonight, I tr tried to think about what all of you would want, what all of you would need. Hopefully, you will be able to take some of the thoughts I'm about to share and use this advice as you begin your journey into adulthood. Years back, I stumbled upon a quote from Morgan Wooten, a longtime and legendary basketball coach at the Matha Catholic High School down in Maryland. Wooten said, never lose sight of the impact you are having on young people's lives. As I reflect upon my own upbringing, I can easily identify the positive role models, the adults in my life who made a significant difference. Sorry, page is stuck. Helping to shape who I am today. And although each of these in individuals impacted my life in different ways, there was one commonality amongst them, which cost no money and was irreplaceable. It was the gift of time. The gift of time is when you consistently provide someone with your undivided attention. It means putting down your phone, turning off the TV, stepping away from your work, and focusing on that person. The gift of time provides individuals with security. It stimulates and nurtures confidence for growth. When we give someone our time, it relays the message that they matter. And when we as individuals are given this gift, it creates a foundation of love that allows us to spread our wings and fly. For each of you here tonight, I would like you to take a moment to reflect upon the key individuals who have helped shape your lives, who have supported you along the way. I'm guessing they also gave you the gift of time. Graduates, at some point far down the road, many of you will decide to settle down and start families, become moms and dads. Give your kids the attention and support that young individuals so very much need. As someone who has built a career that is centered around supporting those between the ages of three and 18, I am probably a little biased. However, I do get to see firsthand every day the impact adults have on young people's lives. Give youth the gift of time. Trust me, there's nothing better or more impactful. Graduates, those are who are sitting here tonight are some of the individuals who gave you that gift. And although we are celebrating you tonight, I ask that you all get up out of your seats and, those, and give those who love you so very much a standing ovation for helping you along the way. That is your cue to stand and give them an ovation. <laughs> Thank you. Over the past two plus years, the pandemic has turned our world upside down. What we all knew and had grown accustomed to, what we were comfortable with changed instantly. What started off as a school closure for two weeks is still impacting all of us in one way or another today. During this time, our resilience has been tested. In one of the toughest times in many of our lives, we have been faced with a challenge that has never been navigated before. Yet graduates, 
Some of those individuals who are most connected to your lives, the incredible teachers of Frontier Regional High School, helped to provide you all with the stability in your lives that you needed. I am still in awe about how they instantly rallied when we were first hit with the pandemic and continued to be consistent and committed despite the obstacles and challenges. They showed their resilience in this challenging time. Graduates, we would be remiss if we did not take a moment to recognize the Frontier Regional faculty and staff. I ask you all to stand once again and give a round of applause to the hardworking teachers at Frontier. Thank you for that. They showed how to overcome this difficult challenge and give you the education and support that you needed. It's a perfect example of resilience. You see, it's not a matter of if, but instead a matter of when we might face difficult moments in our lives. It might happen as soon as you begin to further your education, join the workforce, or in a relationship with a significant other. You will struggle, you will be upset, you will have hard times. At times you will feel like the mountain you need to climb is too steep, but you know what? That is okay, because quite frankly, that's life. It will not always be easy, but if you approach life with a positive mindset, you will get through those difficult times. It is the hard days and failures that challenge you and shape you, but they do not define you. Life is not static. We are constantly adapting and developing, and it is through these tough times that you continue to grow and change. You should also know that no matter how tough it gets, you are never alone. Don't be afraid to ask for help or to lean on your family, your friends, a special teacher, or a coach. Those same people who have given you the gift of time will also be there for you when you need it. They will help you overcome the obstacles you face, and those easy days will come once again. Be resilient. A few minutes ago, I asked you to think of the individuals who have given you the greatest impact in your lives. In addition to the gift of time, think about what qualities they possess that you find admirable. At the same time, you can probably think of some traits that you're not so fond of. That's fine, as no one is perfect. But I ask you this, as you continue to grow as individuals, what kind of person do you want to be? What do you want others to see when they look at you? The virtues that were instilled, instilled upon you all the way back to your early childhood years, the life lessons that you learned from kindergarten through 12th grade, those are the building blocks for one's future. You see, the way you act, treat others, your work ethic, your honesty, your consistency, your attitude, effort, the way you communicate, as well as the compassion and empathy you demonstrate towards others, those are all the traits of a beautiful human being. It has nothing to do with talent or skill. You are in control of your mindset in regards to how you face what is in front of you. Be someone that you would admire. You all possess these attributes that it takes to be a wonderful person. There's a familiar saying that we have an appreciation for as we grow older. The days are long, but the years are short. It was approximately 10 hours ago when I stood in the cafeteria at Sunderland Elementary School in front of a group of parents who will be sending their children to kindergarten this coming fall. I discussed how the transition to kindergarten is one of the biggest and most memorable moments a family experiences. It is more or less officially the moment you transition from early childhood and begin school. I'm guessing that many of the families in attendance tonight can remember your first day of kindergarten. Now we fast forward 12 years and we are met with another monumental experience and wondering where has the time gone? Think about how much you have grown between these two transitionary milestones. This is a special moment. So I ask everyone here tonight, our graduates, teachers, parents, board siblings, please pause for a second, look around and soak this in.
Graduates, you are here. You made it, and we could not be more proud of you. We have seen you struggle, fall down, stand back up, cry, laugh, celebrate, and succeed. You are now young adults, ready, able, and willing to take on your next challenge in life. We care about you, and we love you. This is your time, your moment, you are ready. Now go out and take it. Thank you very much, Ben. We are now going to begin with our awarding of diplomas. So I would ask our class marshal, Jesse Kirklonis, to come to the front. Thank you, Jesse. And just a reminder to families that you'll have the opportunity to take a photo uh, after your child has received their diploma. You guys ready? All right. Annalise Emily Abbott. Gabriela M. Acevedo. Congratulations. Juan D. Amaya. Ryan J. Anderson. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. I got another one. Makai Zachariah Anthony. Dwight Bach. I think we're gonna get a lot of help. <laughs> Tyler Andrew Baranowski. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Kevin Thomas Bauman. Jack Mitchell Bodet. Caden Maeve Boudreau. Patrick John Boyden. Thank you. That's okay. Soccer ball. Karen M. Bright. Thank you. Appreciate it. Another one. 
We're going to run out of room, Mr. Lenitas. <laughs> and I don't even call. Kate Brody. Thank you. Colin Burns. Chelsea Brennan Camp. James A. Carmichael. I got you a gift, but it looks like everyone else did the same thing, so. <laughs> it's my favorite one. <laughs> Samantha J. Carter. Emma Laura Clancy. Shelby Paige Clark. Andrew Christopher Cordoff. Thank you, Mr. Judge. Here you go. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Chloe Elizabeth Cutting. Congratulations, Chloe. Thank you. Emily R. DeMaio. Chase Burton Denny. <laughs> Daniel Joseph Demond. Thank you, Dan. I will not. Elise Caitlin Dorval. Liv Dow. Thank you. Aiden W. Drury. Thank you. Congratulations, Aiden. Tyler Dubriel. Lila Elizabeth Evans. Congratulations, Lila. Thank you. Brady Ross Finch. Congratulations, Brady. Thank, Thank you. you.
Savannah J. M. Fisher. Leonardo Grove Franceschi. Alexander John Frangi. Thank you. Elise R. Friedrichs. Thank you. Nice. Daniel J. Giswaldi. Thank you. <laughs> Tia Julienne Gottschalk. Jemai E. Griffin. I'll give it back at your rad party. Srisha Shrika Gurumilo. Jacob Stanley Hineski. <laughs> Jackson Chase Harper. I make it on time. <laughs> Just this once. Yeah, that's right, Ro. Yeah, yeah. Kayla Marie Hawkins. Thank you. Kylia Marie Page Hoff Christian. Maeve Ann Hewitt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amos Corman. <laughs> Cassie Rose La Rochelle.
Benjamin Curtis Lazat. No golf ball? Oh, no, I got one. Don't worry. Okay. Everybody pose. Hold up. I think this is for you. Thank you. Thanks. Caitlin Mackin. Thank you. Congratulations. Elena Marie Mays Polin. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Lily Elizabeth Markey. Isabel Noel Maripizzi. Dylan James Martin. Season six. <laughs> it's like mini golf. You get a free game. Maya Ann McCoy. Gracie, Suzanne, Michkowski. Thank you. Thank you. Joachim, Liam, Meyer. Grace E. O'Leary. Thank you. Dove E. Obremt. Lila A. Santos. Daniel J. Penza. Brooklyn Alexis Pierce. Thank you. 
Emily Ray Plass. Thank you. Cameron F. Pleasant. Harrison W. Powers. Callie Price. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. John L. Pachowski. Thank you. Congratulations. Blanche Redding. Thank you. Jessica Recor. Liliana Raven Araya Richards. Thank you. Congratulations. Shailen J. Rivard. Camila Rodriguez Aguilera. Sadie Grace Ross. Emma L. Russo. Jacob A. Safford. Thank you. Michaela Naomi Santos. Samantha Paul Scalman.
Madison Alexa Shem. Thank you. Thank you. Samuel Thomas Schreiber. John Robert Samaski. You did that. Everyone gets a free game. Joshua Thomas Samaski. Sierra Rose Sheldon. Thank you. This will not be the last of the collection. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Hannah Marie Skiffington. Thank you. Peyton Sladesky. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Ian Michael James Spearance. Amelie May Sullivan Joyce. Congratulations. Joseph D. Thompson. That's my Gavin Joseph Trot. Congratulations. Jack Andrew Vasellio. Samuel E. Wazalewski. Caleb Jackson Duyard. <laughs> Mr. Lanitas, I got a gift for you. Thank you very much, You're Caleb. You're
Allison Sarah Wiles. Eliana Kayla Wolos. Cameron D. Risley. Sierra Catherine Young. James Zioli. Darren Thomas Herforth. Thank you. No, you keep this. Oh, never mind. Thanks to all of you. I'm going to ask that our graduates please stand, and I'm going to ask for our band to play the alma mater. Yes, the last time we'll be singing the alma mater. <laughs> Seniors, move your tassels from the right side to your left side. You are now officially graduates of Frontier Regional School. Congratulations. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Go. <laughs> 